hearing the difference in in master. You mean in terms of not mastered and then mastered? Sure. Oh, absolutely, that. absolutely. I don't know if you can tell if some it necessarily. I mean, somebody who really knows what they're listening for and knows what they're doing can probably tell the difference on how something was mastered one way or another. But as far as not mastered and mastered, anybody can hear that. If they ever were given the given the opportunity to come in and hear the flat mix right off the right out of the recording studio, brought in, and then if I can switch, which I can do, you know, on the fly, I can go to between what they brought in at level and what I'm doing to it after. And it, and it's you know it's you, you I mean I could do it for you it'd be easy to tell you know I try to bring it up but so I mean but you're hearing the extra level and the EQ as well I mean I EQ. EQ'd it pretty good it got clearer for you you were under able to understand the vocal a little bit better had a tighter bottom and the top was opened up a little bit more so it was more when you heard it flat it kind of got a little bit narrow it felt like a little more like more you know towards the middle and then after the mastering it was a little more wide even though I don't do any widening it's just all done with the EQ it's just opening it up. And that's kind of what I go for. I just go for opening it up. I mean, not really redesigning a mix, just opening it up so that the elements are heard and obviously getting it loud as possible. <laughs> it's tricking you. <laughs> I'm not just bringing up the vocal. I mean, if you really, really listen for it, you'll hear other elements that are in that same frequency register. You know, snares, maybe guitars a little bit, you know, maybe the hi-hat and stuff like that. That's also coming up a little bit, but... With all the other clearing out of the of some of the muddy low end and stuff, it's giving you the the effect of maybe that. But it's not. I just can't do it. If somebody says, "Can you just give me more vocal only?" I got to tell them no. But I got to tell them I can trick them. I can do certain things to open it up in a way that will give you more vocal, even though it's giving you more of other things. But they're wanting to hear the vocal, and if they hear the vocal and there's a little more guitar and snare, and it's not getting in the way, that's you know mission accomplished basically. So, so many people want to make a record, and can or, and are able to make a record up until this point. <laughs> um, you can buy a Pro Tools inbox. You can buy a, a hundred and fifty dollar microphone and sing. You can play all your instruments, you know, MIDI or whatever, and all that kind of stuff, and get it to the point that it's mixed. You can mix it in your bedroom. I mean, this is all stuff that's done in people's bedrooms and garages and all that stuff. And then a lot of them don't know that there's another step. You know, they just, all right, it's recorded, it's mixed. I play it on, I put it on my iPod, I do this and whatever. I put the EQ on my iPod or whatever it is they do, you know, and they think they're done with the record. Well, it should be mastered. I mean, it really needs to be done by somebody who does mastering. I mean, there, you know, you can, there's programs that you, that you were asking me about that said uh, uh, they can master it. But it's, you know, there are algorithms that say, okay, rock, and you set it up and all of a sudden it gets louder and little bit you know harsher and all that kind of stuff but it you know it definitely takes the mix that was down here and puts it up here so all right it's mastered well if they bring it into somebody like me because i've had this happen where they've done this kind of thing and they go man you know i don't know maybe we should just check this out so they bring it into me and they'll play me what they've done and then they give me the flat version and i'll do what i do as a test i mean i offer this to people they you know if they they don't know what they're getting into if they don't think it's a necessary prog you know process to do send me a song I'll do it for free. I'll get it back to you. You can hear the difference between what you've either done or the flat to what I've done. And 99.9% .9 of the time, they call me back and say, when can we come in? Because <laughs> it's just not this. I mean, it's just the gear is just so much better. I mean, there's, you know, there's, there's a plug-in for everything these days. But they don't, they don't do it the way, you know, a human being of, that knows what they're doing as far as getting things to the right level, not over pushing it so that it doesn't sound compressed too much or, or distorted and that kind of stuff. Because when you do all that stuff, you, you introduce distortion to a point. But to do that and not make it sound that it's so distorted, that's a trick that we do that a plug in box won't do. Or, or you know, or somebody who's not, who's somebody who says they do their master, you know, can, I can master that. I'll come into my house and I'll do this for you. That if they don't do it every day and that's not all they do, it's tough. Because, you know, especially if you mix it yourself, you're probably not going to do what it needs in mastering because you figure you've done that when you mixed it. Yeah. So you may t be, tend to be a little more timid on it. Where another guy like me who's never heard it before, fresh ears, come in and go, yeah, maybe that low end isn't right. It needs to be here. This, let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. And next thing you know, it's <laughs> a million times better. Which, if you did it yourself, after you've mixed it, you may go, oh, it's great, because that's what I want, and that's what I did. It's just another objective set of ears to come in and say, hey, let's try this, and send you off with a ref, and what do you think? 
generally it's perfect. They come back and they're like, man, this is great. Let's move on with that. You know, so I offer, I offer them to send me a tune for free. No problem. I'll do it and get it back to them. I'll give it to them. You know, I generally don't like to do MP3s. A lot of people are like, well, just MP3 that back to me. I'll let them make the MP3 after. But when I, when we give out a ref or what we've done, it's always on an audio CD so that they can listen in their car, listen on their computer. And then, and then they can make their own MP3s and put it on their iPod and all that kind of stuff. So 